This school staff member doesn't know if he's unique, but he's certainly a very rare specimen. He's the school's dedicated environmental coordinator. Stephen Green doesn't take any classes, but devotes his efforts on promoting sustainability at the Ringmer Community College in East Sussex. But I think what we've demonstrated here is that in, by taking that leap of faith and getting someone in to do this task, you can not only make real changes to children's futures, but you can also save money and generate a lot of income for the school. Stephen first worked at the school as a part-time teaching assistant in the music department and a spare time organiser of an eco club. With the school building half a century old and an antiquated heating system, there were plenty of simple measures that could be taken to save energy, such as turning the heating down when it's warm. As the eco club grew from a membership of five to more than 200, that's a quarter of all pupils, so too did their ambitions. Solar panels appeared on the roof. We have 66 solar panels right up there that generate 10% of our electricity. There's always sun, so they will always be generating electricity. The panels stimulated extra interest in the environment and a greater commitment to saving it. A decision was made to find more sources of renewable energy and appoint an additional member of staff to be environmental coordinator. When I came in as head, I could see the potential for this expanding. Um, our specialism is technology for sustainable future, so it seemed to fit in very well with what we were trying to do as a whole school. So I approached Steve and asked him if he wanted to do the job more or less full time rather than working in music. This was the next expansion in sustainability. This is a wind turbine, it generates electricity, it produces 5% of our electricity, so it's very economical for the environment. While examples of sustainability were appearing on site, lessons in the subject became embedded in class. What message does this image convey? That time's running out and that the earth is like, if we don't do something about it now, then it'll be too late. Through Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4, we do embed sustainability throughout and the raises awareness of their sort of global part within the world and the local and the things that they can do to basically improve their area and help towards a more sustainable future. The next renewable source of energy came with a new sixth form centre. In here we have a uh, ground source heat pump and that basically takes heat from underground to help uh, heat the water for heating the sixth form building. And it generates about one third of the sixth form's energy. Stephen reinforces the environmental messages with demonstrations like this. The eco bike shows pupils how much energy they have to expend to light one bulb. Pupils are also encouraged to undertake their own green projects, such as turning scrap paper into notebooks, which are sold in school and in a local shop. We did some ones for Christmas. Um, we made £25. And most uh, of the money goes to charity as well. Back outside, this is the latest star attraction of the school's renewable energy collection. Uh, this is a £400,000 biomass boiler. It burns wood chip to make energy and uh, heat yeah. the school. This is going to be the world that we're living in eventually, so we want to keep it as clean and healthy and eco as possible, really. It's our world and it's our generation, so we might as well save it now while we can instead of when it's too late. So how much have all these renewable energy sources cost the school? The answer? Absolutely nothing. Photovoltaic solar panels cost £48,000, paid for by the Green Fund and EDF Energy, cost savings £3,500 a year. Wind turbine cost £18,000, funded through the Green Fund, saves us £1,800 a year. Ground source heat pump cost £22,000, funded through the government's carbon reduction scheme for new build, saving £7,500 a year which brings us to our biomass boiler, costing over £400,000, funded by East Sussex County Council, saving us over 300 tonnes of carbon a year and an estimated cost saving of £8,000. Are you driven out of a concern for the environment or a need to save money? Neither really. I'm driven by a desire to give children an insight into the sorts of problems and issues that might, may well affect their future. And we're also giving them examples of things that they can take home with them, whether it's managing lights, managing computers, not wasting paper. Those sorts of things will go with children home and hopefully will go with them through their life. <laughs>